The age of the ancient gods is over. The Capricorn gods are leaving, and the Aquarian gods are emerging. The time of monotheism is over. The time of empires of kings and queens and dictators and popes is over. The time has come to liberate humans from the Capricorn gods. The Aquarius spirit begins to kill every one of these dictators with the queen's death. The time of empathy, love, intelligence, and human democracy has begun. The well-being of the body next to the soul, financial security next to love. Be with Aquarius, and I will teach you the way to happiness. The time of slavery and employment is over, and the new gods will hardly take revenge on the people from these dictators, and we will see the unity of all peoples and colors of mankind with the same language, with a single currency, without geographical borders. We are getting closer and closer to 2025. The story of this episode begins here. In orbit 56 degrees north and 3 degrees west, and amid a great plague, in the dank basements of an old castle, a portal is opening to summon a powerful god named Danu. But before the ceremony is completed, the witch is arrested and his book is burned along with his body. But another copy of this book is still left next to the secret doors of this castle. The name of that great witch was Mrs. Janet Douglas, a woman who came very close to taking full power, but was unable to complete the task and her spirit never left the castle. Her prize could be heard in the basements of that castle for centuries. That book was not discovered for years until a 14 years old girl found the book and it took seven years to decipher the mysterious language of the book. The little girl who finds the book years later in 1940 completing the ritual was Elizabeth. Victoria Elizabeth's grandfather, with the help and command of Donu, removes his eldest son, Edward and Elizabeth's. Father George becomes the king, then Elizabeth is elected. At the age of 20, Elizabeth was able to decipher the book and marry her live Philip and ascend to the throne of the most powerful kingdom in the world. These days, there are a lot of conspiracy theories about the Queen, such as her being a Freemason, or being a reptile, or subjects that, by discovering them, people think that strange things have been revealed. While these are the highlights of a monarch's life, and these rumors make the real behind-the-scenes secrets of the Queen's life not to be revealed, and the existence that is worshipped and sanctified in the Capricorn system not to be broken in our eyes. The god Danu is a female deity, and her nature is water and slightly earth. On each world she appears in, she appoints one person to be her vessel, and this position is called the Morrigan, which is what the queen became. The Morrigans use three groups of demons, and it is not necessary for these demons to have human body vessels. They use animal vessels called familiar, which for the queen included dolphins, geese, and dogs. One of the requirements of a Morrigan is to drink a potion made from the blood of a child, and she must drink this every night. Use of garlic is forbidden in a royal family because garlic is forbidden and deadly to vampires. These keywords that I tell you are for your search because the time of the videos is short. The truths are far deeper than what ordinary people can reach. Behind the invisible curtain of these stories are the secrets that the demons tell. Many people assume that the queen is a reptilian, but she is not. Morrigan is something much higher than a third dimension being's reptilian. As you know, Inorganics and organics are two big categories of beings that can divide the entire creation into these two categories. We are organic 
Reptilians are a species of aliens whose technology is more advanced than ours, and many of them live among us, and they are third dimension beings. They are also organic, but the Morrigan is much higher than an organic. She has become an inorganic vessel and has almost upgraded herself to a fourth dimension being and a fifth dimension being can dissolve into its body. The Queen is not a Freemason. Many associate her with Freemasonry. While you have to keep in mind that the Kabbalah is one of the elementary schools of spiritual science and the Queen is at a very high level of magic, being the vessel of a fifth dimensional bot is far above what spiritual teachings such as religion and Kabbalah provide to his followers. The Queen's means of communication as a human representative within organic and organic beings are three powerful tools, her crown, her scepter, and her orb. Orb, ring, scepter, and crown are the most powerful magical objects in the world, together in the archives of the royal family. The Queen has acquired and crafted many magical objects during her reign but none are as powerful as the crystals in her possession. For example, St. Edward's Sapphire is the cause of the Queen's long life and the immortality of this royal family. The Black Prince Roubaix for undisputed power, for winning wars. Sometimes they don't use it like Koi Noor and they don't even take it out of high voltage because it has so much negative energy that even the queen can control them. Queen has crystals of all seven chakras in her crown and scepter and even in her rings, which is called the seven chakra pyramid, which is the pyramid of power. And each one of these crystals is the most powerful crystal of each chakra. Now that Morrigan Danu is dead, many are eager to become a next Morrigan but they must know that the age of the ancient gods is over.